Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today we are going to go over the installation of our newest product for the Bodyguard series of pistols. And that is our all solid aircraft grade aluminum uh, extended mag release. <clears throat> Lots of you have been asking for one. Uh, there's an issue with the stock plastic one where it wears out over time. Your magazines just start dropping out. Uh, but other than that, the biggest complaint we got was it's just too shallow. Um, so it's much harder to manipulate on such a small gun. Uh, so let's go over tools we're going to need. You're going to need your bench block. You're going to need a right angle pick. Your brass and polymer hammer. A 1 8 inch uh, punch. And a set of needle nose pliers. Alright, so let's go ahead and lock and clear the pistol. As you can see we are visually and physically empty. So let's go ahead and strip the slide. I set it off to the side. We're not doing anything with it, so let's take our bench block, flip it to the flat side, and we're going to drive out our frame pins. Alright, so make sure when you go to pull out the chassis that you keep your thumb over the slide lock spring and your finger over the trigger bar because when you go to pull this out the spring has a tendency to want to fly off real easily so if you do lose this though we do sell a replacement on the website and then the trigger bar just wants to pop out with the trigger return spring when there's no tension from the hammer holding it in place so let's set our chassis off to the side all right so now we're going to look down inside the frame and take our hammer spring out set it off to the side and you can see the mag release spring and the mag release. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your 90 degree angle, pull it up just enough to slide your old uh, magazine release out and go ahead and stick it in the bag that your new one came in because as always you want to keep a hold of your stock parts in case you have to send it back to the factory for warranty work, say barrels bad or something like that. They will remove any aftermarket parts and not send it back. Alright, so we're going to take our new Galloway Precision Extended Release and put it in and now everybody's grip frame is probably going to be slightly different all right reason being these are injection molded plastic molds <laughs> over repeated injecting and cooling they shrink expand shrink expand so you're going to get some variances with stuff so if you go to push in the spring that's not quite lined up you're going to take your 90 degree pick and just kind of Pull the arm out just a little bit and forward at the same time and then push down on the spring. This is honestly the trickiest part of the whole thing. Of course, it's fighting me now that I'm doing this on camera. All right, so you can pop the spring out slightly like I just did, which is what I've been trying to do. And when you go and push it back in place, it'll be lined up with the hole. Just push the spring all the way back in and then click it. When you push it down, it'll click back into its guide, all right, right there where it's supposed to be. So now that we have that installed, we've got our extended release in. Go ahead and make sure that the spring's seated all the way down and Push on the mag release a little bit, take your magazine, stick it in, pull on it, push on it. Make sure that the spring is seated correctly and that the uh, mag release doesn't have any left. It's not moving to the left, it's where it's supposed to be. And go ahead and drop the mag. Now we're going to reassemble the pistol. Alright, so if you have our Santiago kit installed, uh, your trigger pivot may slide out just because the plastic trigger is uh, press formed to the return. So go ahead and put your trigger back together, put your trigger bar back on. And while you're holding that all in place, flip it over and put our slide lock and our slide lock spring back on. We're going to hold them in place. All right. Take your frame, put your hammer spring back in. Put your safety back on the chassis if it fell off or if you have a safety model. We're going to start by putting the hammer strut into the hammer spring first. 
and then compressing the whole chassis, making sure that the hammer spring is in its pocket, it hasn't popped out and is sitting on the edge right here of the frame because it, it'll be really hard to put back together. All right, so now we're gonna take our takedown pin. We'll start with the rear one, take our polymer hammer, drive it home. Now what I like to do, if you have the Santiago kit, you can see it's sitting up a little higher because of the pre-travel stop. Just go ahead, take the safety off, pull the trigger so the hammer drops and the trigger will move out of the way. All right, we're going to put our other one back in. I'm going to reassemble the pistol completely. All right, so go ahead and do a function check. Make sure we got everything put back together correctly. Pull the trigger and hold it. Rack it. You should get two reset clicks. Well... There we go. This one, that's going to be a little harder to do for the simple fact that we're missing a bunch of slide parts. So it's not actually the lifter. It's hard to get the lifter to interact when there's no blocker in the way. Um, go ahead, home trigger to the rear, release. You'll get your two resets just like that, which if you hold it upright without the blocker anyway, if you hurt hold it on the side you may not all right so you'll get your two reset clicks go ahead and put the safety on try and pull the trigger trigger should not fall safety off trigger hammer should fall so we know that we put everything back together correctly and so now the next test with everything back together we're going to put a mag in pull it shake it and then just go ahead and Drop it on out like so. So everything's put back together correctly. Uh, timing's all good. Our resets are correct. So everything's right. All right. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you got any questions, feel free to email me at tech. That's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Uh, be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Be sure to like our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. Uh, go by either the Facebook page or the website and sign up for the monthly newsletter. Uh, you, when you sign up for the monthly newsletter, uh, you're one of the first to receive what the monthly sale is going to be. I usually don't post about it for another day or two on social media, sometimes longer, just to give you guys that uh, subscribe to the newsletter first dibs on what the monthly sale is. So be sure to go check that out. Uh, Ground Pounder is getting closer and closer. Uh, to launch date finally so be sure to go check out the grub the website groundpounderoffroad.com and see what parts are going to be coming and uh, follow us on social media there as well on facebook youtube and instagram and that's going to wrap it up guys so uh, recap extended mag release and uh, it makes a huge difference guys it really does and you can see you know it's not sticking out too much further past the frame just enough to where you can actually manipulate it without having to turn the pistol completely to the side take your grip off of it you can actually drop mag slap your new mag in and go to town all right which is a lot harder to do normal gross motor skills when i'm a foot away from the camera but anyhow that's gonna wrap it all up uh thanks for coming by and watching the video thanks for buying the new product and as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.